Hey everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 78 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And I have no idea how I got the camera this way, but I found it hilarious when I did, so I decided to open the video with this. Yeah. Bet you thought you'd never be seeing this this screenshot in your entire life, right? Well, whatever. That's funny enough. Anyway, I'm up at Snowhead Temple here because, for this video, this is one of the last videos of Majora's Mask, very sadly, I know. But... There are a few little things that I actually want to show that I kind of missed. Well, I didn't really miss. I just they're just kind of like secretive, and it's mainly involving two bosses, uh, Got and Twin Mold. I'm gonna go ahead and fight those two bosses again, but I'm gonna do it in different ways. And damn it, these things are just annoying. Go away. Well, I'm just gonna step on the boss warp, so whatever. Yeah, there are two ways, or one way for each boss in which you can beat them, and it's like different from the ways that I showed originally. So, I'm going to kind of show those now, and that didn't make any sense, that sentence that I just said, but whatever. It doesn't have to make sense, it's Zelda. Yeah, so I guess this is just like a few of the odds and ends that we missed in our in our quests, and next video should be the beginning of the end for us. How sad. Boy. Oh yeah, last time we also finished the Andrew Cafe side quest, that was fun. Alright, anyways, forgot here, um... Basically what you want to do is, I'm going to equip my normal arrows for this. You want to have a ton of arrows. Well, not may maybe not like a ton, just enough to get by. And you actually want to roll over here instead of being like a Goron. You want to roll up here. And he's going to start sh shooting lightning at you like that, like he normally does. And from here you can actually shoot him with arrows. And basically, one arrow counts as the same as a Goron hit. So you can just kill him in like 5th- oh crap, but- yeah, if he hits you like that, then he's going to start running again, so that sucks. But you can still do this strategy, you just have to stand here and wait for him to come. He pretty much never hits you unless he shoots you with lightning, like he just did there. Aw, oh, man. I, I hardly got like any hits off on him before he did this, though. I don't know I can get like at least a few. Yeah, see, he didn't even hit me there. And now that that like, electric crap is on his tail, is on his butt, you can actually see him coming very much sooner from this way. Because it'll just gleam in the darkness so shinily. Shinily. That's not even a word. Shinily. Like funnily. It sounds like you're describing something that looks like a funnel. Not something that's like funny. In an, in an adverbial way. I don't know. Okay. Oh, can I hit this guy please? Thank you. Oh he's dead. Look at that. Dead and... <laughs> I don't even know. That was like 15 arrows or something. I know I missed a few times. And ram your face into the wall, got. Jeez, I fought this guy like six million times in this playthrough. Only twice on screen, but off screen you have to quite fight him quite a few times. Because it has to be spring a lot. And that's it for him. So now I'm going to go ahead and take on Twin Mold the only way I know how. Well, actually, no, not really. It's basically the way that you're supposed to take on Twin Mold. It's using the giant's mask, but I stupidly missed it on my first time, so I used like the secondary method first, which was actually quite a lot more epic, if I do say so myself. Yeah. Uh, this video is probably going to be a little bit of a short video. Well, actually, I have some stuff. I have actually some stuff, like some extra thing that I did at the end of the Anju Cafe side quest that uh, it, did, it just didn't really fit anywhere in those Anju Cafe videos. Because it was like something that you have to do only after the end. It's like the only thing you can do with the couple's mask. And it just putting at the end, like right after the big reunion with Andrew Cafe, it just didn't feel right. It just I just thought you should like end with that reunion. And just leave it at that. Because I'm an emotional kind of jerk like that. But that'll be tagged on to the end of this video probably. Really awkwardly, but it'll be tagged on. There's also like one more cutscene from the Andrew Cafe side quest that I really never really showed that I kind of want to show. Uh, someone actually posted a comment about it. I'm uh, not sure who you are. I need to get better at that. I need to get better at remembering usernames so I can actually like give people mini shoutouts in my videos and stuff for their comments. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and buy some Chateau Romani here, which I don't have enough rupees for, of course. I'll be back. Okay, after a quick trick to the bank, I finally have 202 rupees now, just for completeness sake. And we get Chateau Romani. Swish it around with your tongue. Yum, yum. So let's just go ahead and drink that right now, actually. 
Man, I actually need to talk a little bit quietly, so I don't know if the audio will come out quieter in this video. I can always just increase the volume, I guess, but it's like the middle of the night, and I have like like three other people sleeping in my house right now. So it's kind of crazy. But, you know what? I need the time to record. I just need some time to unwind with Majora's Mask, so why not now, right? Alright. Oh man, I'm gonna have to flip the whole freaking stone tower upside down again. That's gonna be so annoying, because I'm gonna have to play the Elegy song. And I'm not gonna make you watch all that. I'll just meet you at, like, the Twin Mold Room, probably. Okay, I just, I just decided to meet you inside the temple so we can have a little bit of, like, a transition period into the room. I don't want to just, like, start off with Twin Mold's big face right up in the camera. Oh, man. Because, you know, he likes to hog the stardom with how big he is. But, you know, this time, we're not fooling around. We're going to be just as big as he is, if not bigger. Oh, check this out. Uh-oh. We have to watch this cutscene again. It would be kind of cool if this place looked different at night than it did from the day. Like, if there was just some kind of, like, twilight glow behind all the sand. But I guess it kind of makes sense that there isn't, because you wouldn't be able to see that in real life anyways. Alright. So, look how big and ominous he is. It's so scary. But what do we have this time? Oh, that's right. We have the giant's mask. So, let's see. Watch it. Oh my god. Whoa! Listen to his voice. That's so creepy. And now look at how big we are, my goodness, and our sword grew with us and everything. So this is basically like the same fight, kind of. You have to hit them in the tail, or in the face, actually. I think you can hit them in the face when you're big like this. But now you can do it with your sword much easier. Well, I don't know how much easier, because I keep running into them, but or they just keep coming up from under me. Yeah, but, so this is actually a lot easier than the way I was doing it, as you could probably tell. Well, maybe not. If I would just stop missing, then maybe you could tell. And now you kind of pro you can kind of see what I meant by it was not nearly as epic if you if you had the giant's mask. Because like like look at him now. He's just some kind of stupid. I don't even know. It's like a mini Volvagia. Whereas when you're tiny and shooting arrows at him, it's like a gigantic Volvagia. Oh, he's dead already. Look at that. And uh, someone actually commented about this, and I actually looked it up after the Twin Mold fight myself too, so thanks for the comment, but I already knew. Um, but if you shoot them with arrows, it's actually better to use fire and ice arrows instead of light arrows. Because, um, actually, like, fire arrows, they'll do a lot more damage to the blue guy than, like, other, than other kinds of arrows. And, uh, ice arrows will do a lot more damage to the red guy, which is kind of interesting. Like, it's essentially like, the light arrows, they would do 4 damage if you hit them. If you hit the guys in the tail. Whereas, with their respective weaknesses of fire and ice, they'll do 6 damage. And if you hit them with, like, a normal arrow or something they're resistant to, like, the ice guys resi resistant to blue. Or, <laughs> blue guys resistant to ice, I mean. Wow. Uh, then it'll do just 2 damage. Even though there's no technical, quantifiable units of damage. Oh, we just beat Twin Mold, by the way. There you go. That's Twin Mold with the Giant's Mask. Oh, man, look at that tiny warp. Can I step in it? Oh, well, I can, but... It... Okay, warp me away, Scotty. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's actually beating me up, Scotty. I don't know what I was saying. But that is Twin Mold and Got for you, the two other ways that you can beat them. I'm sure there's plenty of different ways to beat bosses. If you, like, have any that you want to show, feel free to tell me in the comments or post them as video responses or whatever. Because those are always interesting to see. Oh, are we going to see this again? Oh no, we don't get to see like the portal morph and see the sky all clear up because it's nighttime. I don't know. But that's it. And now, uh, I'm not going to do my like, my outro here because there's still stuff left to add on to this video that I just have to edit in. So, enjoy that. Die! Okay, guys, really quick before I actually move on to the other stuff that I wanted to show that I wanted to edit in. Um, I forgot to mention that the Giant's Mask actually consumes the magic as you wear, and that's why I got the Chateau Romani, and I highly recommend that you get the Chateau Romani too, otherwise you're going to run out of magic and you're going to go small and you're going to shoot him with arrows or something else. Okay, bye. Oh, oh, hey, there's Anju. My god. Man, I can't... If you guys are going to hear the stuff that I've been saying for, like, the past little bit, you would just be so, like, weirded out. Alright, but here is the scene that I skipped with Anjus. Some, 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 
dude, someone actually called me out in the comments on this for not showing the scene. Basically, this scene happens on the second day at around 2 p.m. apparently. If uh, you have not done any of the Anja Cafe side quest, she will appear here and you can talk to her. She'll say, Excuse me, have you seen a man like in this area? He looks like this. Wow. <laughs> she has one too. Cool. He disappeared about one month ago. What? Well, one month ago? Really? Wow. Jeez, I had no idea. With his wedding ceremony mask. I'm actually afraid to meet him. And to hear the reason why he wanted to disappear. It might be because of me. There are only two days until the carnival. Should I wait? Cafe. Oh man. First we saw the tragic ending for Cafe. Now we see it for Anju here. That's so sad. Look. She Don't cry, Anju. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have shown the scene. I shouldn't have talked to you. I didn't say anything, but I made you cry still. Oh, damn it. Well, that's it for that scene that I guess I skipped or just <laughs> failed to show because I couldn't really show it while I was doing the Andrew Cafe side quest anyways. But... Um, that's it for this. There should be only one more thing that I have to tack on to the end of this video. And it is the reason why I have 19 hearts right now. Someone else called me out on that too. That'll make sense in just a moment. So, let's go. But there is actually one more thing that I want to show off just before... Before I end off this video. And that is going to be the only thing you can do with the couple's mask. Like, yeah... There's only one thing to do with it, just like many other masks, like the Postman Tat and everything. But, it's just so, there's such a great, amazing story behind it that it is probably one of my favorite masks. And it looks kind of cool, too. Kind of looks like a really, really, like, smirky cyclo Cyclops or something. But, yeah, there it is on Link. Kind of interesting. But the one thing that you can do with this is actually in the mayor's office, which doesn't open till 10 a.m., sadly. So, I'm going to have to wait around here. Um... Well, actually, I can probably go listen to Anju's grandmother's stories, or that one story that lasts like two hours past time. So that's an idea. And I will meet you back at the mayor's office at 10 a.m. Okay, so it's... I just skipped ahead by a bunch of times, so, because it doesn't really matter if you come here at exactly 10 a.m. And we're going to go ahead and get out the couple's mask. Man, look how beautiful this ma screen is now. Like, now it's all full. It's cool. It makes me so happy. Alright, so put on the couple's mask and actually talk to the mayor here. Ah! 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 The couple's mask. What a nice reminder. So a young couple has been married. I wonder, did my wife flee? <laughs> what? What did you just say? <laughs> God. <sighs> yes, everyone. We're all worried about our families. Why, why don't we end this meeting? But, Mr. Mayor! This will do. Whether you're stubborn and will stay and guard your family, or if you prefer to run far away and seek shelter. That is for the people to decide on their own. What? <laughs> yeah, now finally taking an executive decision, Mr. Mayor. Good on you. Thank you for allowing me to put an end to all that pointless bickering. Adults are so stubborn, it is shameful. Here, take a token of my gratitude. And for that, we get- oh my good- Link's face is all white, it's like a gap in the space. But you got the you assembled a new heart container with that heart piece. Yep. So that's 19 hearts, just four heart pieces to go. Where are they? We don't know. I may be an unreliable mayor, but at least my family can depend on me. I want to protect my wife. And you save the mayor from a tedious meeting. Nice. That's actually the final thing that gets added to your notebook, believe it or not, so it is complete now. Sweet. So that's really about it for the side quests in Majora's Mask. So, what are we going to do next time? The only thing that we can. Thanks everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.